Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'll be looking into the best ad blockers that also are VPNs. So uh, if you didn't know, VPNs have some of the best blockers out there. And the reason you want to combine a VPN with the ad blocker is, for example, let's say you're trying to watch a specific streaming service and you want to make sure that there are no ads or if you're just on YouTube and you're browsing, uh, maybe you're accessing a different streaming service in a different country using the VPN. And you also want to make sure that the ads are blocked. Well, well, a VPN is actually a great choice. Now, a VPN is not just for ad blocking, obviously. It's also so that you can protect your device by connecting to a server that is secured by the VPN provider. And you pick a specific location, for example. Let's just go with France. In this case, if I connect to France, uh, then my internet will interpret as if I'm in France myself, and I will therefore have access to French, well, local French content. And so that's essentially how it works with VPNs. But now, a lot of good VPNs and most premium VPNs have really good ad blockers. And today that's what we're going to test. So I want to start with the Surfshark blocker here. So if we go to settings, VPN settings, and make sure that the clean web ad blocker is on. Once you have it on, all you have to do is just connect to a server. And we're going to retest on this website right here. And this is essentially an ad blocking tester. And the more red we're seeing, the more it means it's well, not that great. And the more green will be seeing means that there are more ads being blocked. So let's see here without anything. It seems like there's 20 block 20 ads blocked out of 140 28 rather. So let's see here without any VPNs. It seems like we're getting a 20% here. Uh, so let's see with Surfshark. Let's just give it a retest. As you can tell, it looks like we've been able to block up to 80. So this is really cool. Okay, so as you can tell, the Surfshark application has quite a bit of an ad blocking capability but it may not be as good as you want it to be. So let's just go with ExpressVPN now. So if I were to go to ExpressVPN options here and make sure that everything is on here, I can just go ahead and connect to any server. It doesn't really matter. And once I'm connected, all I have to do is just give this a refresh. And let's just see what happens on the tester now when we give it a retest. We should be reaching much higher levels here with the percentages, I would assume about 80%. And there we go, 89%. Wow. So so almost all of the ads were blocked. Only 15 were not blocked. Okay. And it seems like it's the Google ads that were not blocked. And it's probably because I'm using Google Chrome. So that's understandable. We can probably remove these if I just used another browser that's a little bit more private. Okay. So now that we've tested Surfshark and ExpressVPN, let's also give a live test to NordVPN. So with NordVPN, we have the most advanced one here. We've got file protection, which is sort of like a mini antivirus. And then you have wet protection protection and threat protection light. So you want to turn both of these on. And if you take a look at this, will essentially block all kinds of trackers, malicious websites and other parameters that websites pick up to keep track of your data and your habits. Uh, so you want to make sure that this is on. And you also want to make sure that the threat protection light is on as well, because this will also enhance the DNS filtering to block ads when the VPN is on. So I'll wait until this is on and then I can just go ahead and connect to any country. Let's just go with the most recently used server. And now that I'm connected, let's just give it a refresh and see what happens here. Let's give it a retest. Oh, and because I've turned it on, of course, it will block anything that it suspects might be suspicious. But for the most part, you probably just want to unblock. It could just be a false alarm most of the time. So let's just see here. And I suspect we'll go to about 90% here, similar to what we got with ExpressVPN. But it seems like we got a 79%. So as far as blocking ads, it seems like ExpressVPN is the best out of the three. Now, if you want to maximize your ad blocking capability, what you want to do is use a VPN as well as an individual blocker. So this will be the most effective way to block ads. And that's basically it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And when going for any of these VPNs, I did ask Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan thinking they're not going to need the VPN for more than a month, but they do end up using it for longer than a month and they keep resubscribing to this very expensive plan. 
plan. Whereas if you go for the longer term plans, you'll be able to save a little bit more money, especially using the link down below. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you change your mind. So comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.